everyone, welcome to Island Half Cast. Today, I'm going to discuss 10 things that you should not do while you're in Palau. These uh, 10 things that I'm going to share is mainly based on my experience while I'm living here in Palau and also based on my observation. Number one, don't misjudge or underestimate the weather condition in Palau. Here in Palau, we always have a sudden change of weather. Like in the morning, you thought it's gonna be sunny the whole day because the sun really shining well, and then suddenly it will rain. And then not even half an hour, it will stop and then start to get sunny again. So you really have to prepare yourself, bring your umbrella when you come here. But if it doesn't really bother you, the rain, it's fine. It's not really cold here in Palau, so even if you get wet, you don't really get frozen. <laughs> even if you get wet, you don't freeze. That's the advantage of living here in a tropical island. Number two, don't drink alcohol in public places. Like this place where I'm right now, here in KB Bridge, uh, some public parks, and most of the parks actually here in Palau, uh, you are not allowed to drink alcohol. And so that's one thing that you really have to bear in mind because when an officer or a government officer or a ranger or from Koror State will see you or some locals will see you drinking around uh, with beer in some public places, they can actually call some officer and they can stop you or fine you for drinking in public places. Unlike other countries, even if you're gonna be walking along the road or going to the park and carry a beer in your hand because you're on holiday, uh, some countries, uh, it's fine. But here you are not allowed uh, to carry alcohol around and especially in public places. Number three, don't swim anywhere. Palau is known for its beautiful water, but it doesn't mean that every time you see water around you here in Palau is you can actually jump and swim already. Here, you really have to ask your tour guide or some locals if, if those places are allowed for swimming. Number four, don't go fishing without proper coordination with your tour guide or from the authorities because uh, here uh, you cannot just fish anywhere and as a foreigner or as a tourist here in Palau you have to get your fishing license before you can go fishing. Number five, don't make fun of the government, the elders and the leaders here in Palau. Uh, I include this one because I've noticed um, we don't see a lot of like the one that we have in the Philippines or even in the US that you can put memes or you can edit some videos about their uh, government officials or about their president and uh, they make them dance in uh, social media uh, do doing those uh, videos but here in Palau you don't do that and I never seen someone do that so you don't do it as well when you come here in Palau. People here in Palau they are so respectful so we have to respect them back. Number six don't wear your shoes inside the house when you're visiting a local home here in Palau. It's very common in Asia and we also practice here in Palau. So you don't really have to wait uh, for them to tell you uh, to leave your shoes outside the house. You just kind of do it by yourself. And it's a sign of respect also for the owner of the house. Number seven. Number seven, don't say no when you're asked to bring food or take away when you're in a party here in Palau. When you're invited to a local gathering here in Palau, especially with the local houses, you should not say no when they're asked you to take home some food with you. Isn't it nice? Wow, only here in Palau. Number eight, don't find any money changer shop here in Palau because you don't see 
any money changer places here. Uh, you can go to the bank if you want to change your own currency to US dollar, but it takes a little bit of time. So much better that you are ready when you come to Palau, you just bring the US currency going here in Palau. Number nine, don't cross the road without using the pedestrian lane. It's much safer to cross the road here with a pedestrian lane. And as a tourist, you always have to look where you're walking, especially if you're in the main road. Because most of us, when we're going for a holiday, we forgot that we're, use, we're, we're walking in the middle of the road already and that will cause accidents. So when you're here, you really have to be careful. Always watch where you're walking and always watch the car around you. So don't cross not using the pedestrian lane here in Palau. Number 10, don't expect too much. Each country has their own flaws and Palau is a developing country. So you don't expect when you come here that after uh, from diving and after going island hopping and you want to relax and you want to go chill and you'd like to go to a big mall or have a cup of coffee in Starbucks or go to McDonald's and have a snack. So we don't have that here in Palau. Palau is best known as one of the seventh underwater wonder in the world. So you don't expect to find big malls like what we have in the Philippines or some other Western countries. So that's the 10 things that you should not do in Palau. That's my list and I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you again on my next vlog. Subscribe to my channel and press the button to subscribe. Hit the notification bell and, and have a good day everyone. God bless everyone.